right so lots of reggae on the streets yes uh, singer idris abdul karim versus Bonner boy yes when two crazy people fight there is no blow that is below the belt welcome back entertainment daily lovers and this is a hot gist and i have to bring it to you as it is hot pardon my voice because this is 1 a.m over here in europe but we gotta give you the hot gist trending gist you gotta get it while it's hot so don't forget to subscribe that being said let's get right into the gist all right so Idris Abdul Karim was on Nedu's podcast and he was asked a lot of questions. Idris, as you know, or if you don't, Idris never holds back. If you ask him a question, he is going to answer it live and direct and that he did. And when they asked him something that he had to give an example, he talked about how Bonobai always brags that nobody has ever helped him or stuff like that. And Idris said on that podcast that was even yet to premiere. OK, they were just giving us a, you know, a glimpse into what to ex expect on that episode. And Idris said that that was a nonsense talk. Uh, he also spoke about other persons. But Bonner Boy is one person that if you mention, in fact, immediately you said B, even before you say Bona, he is out there tweeting. <laughs> Like I always tell people, Bonner Boy always a uh, big talker, okay? Big talker, right? From where nobody know Bonner Boy. And they talk about studio days. Okay, anyways, let, let's just get back into track. So Bonner Boy, seeing that, was like, come on, I don't... I, mm -mm 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 -mm. Idris, you ain't gonna do that. Yep, mm, I'm, I'm not rolling like that with you. And this is what Bonner Boy said in response to what Idris said to him. He said, Abdul Karim, I be waiting them, they call your papa. I no blame you. I blame people who donate money for your hospital bills. And I wish, say, you be person where fit they enter the kind places where I day. Where I day. Make we use mistake jam. In other words, <laughs> if our part ever cross, Idris Abdul Karim, it go red. <laughs> well, <clears throat> this fight go sweet though because these two people are two mad people and one person here yeah, already. <clears throat> anyway, make cannot talk that one because plenty of people don't know the matter. What could leave up? <laughs> if you know, you know what I wanted to say. But anyways, this fight go hot between Idris and Bonner. Okay. And uh, Idris being someone that is not back backing down either. Idris, you know, the bloggers were tweeting about it. Everyone was talking about it. And Idris saw it. And Idris gave his own response. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. So Idris... Abdul Karim replies Bono Boy after getting called out by him. And this is what Idris said. Idris re responded and said, Yup, they contributed money for my hospital bills and I am perfectly healthy now. But I don't think any contribution can save your spam from reproducing fools. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So a whole lot of people are feeling some type of way when Bonaboy tweeted what Bonaboy tweeted about, you know, like using Idris Abdul Karim's health as shade. Hence, I said in the beginning, when two crazy people fight, there's no blow that is below the belt. Okay? Look, when you draw the first shade, you cannot tell someone how to fight. And I always say this, when someone is on their own and you call their name, <laughs> be ready for whatever they give to you. Because you started it and you're not going to tell someone how to respond. Okay, these two people are two weird people and there's nothing they do that will ever come as a surprise to me. So when Bonaboy decided to go that low to talk about Idris' health, I was like, hmm. people were feeling sorry for I, I knew that Idris was going to hit back with a bombastic one and that's exactly what idris did hitting back by saying yes people contributed for me and my health is in good condition right about now and i don't give a hoot or uh, whatever you have to say but yes you're <clears throat> it's not working okay and then People are now saying, why is Idris trying to mock Bonaboy? That is it because Bonaboy does not have several baby mamas, have kids out of wedlock out there? Is that why Idris is insinuating that his stuff is not functioning? Because maybe he's shooting, but he's misfiring. Like, do you get, like, he <laughs> didn't enter, but you know, they walk up. <laughs> okay, there. Ah.
but uh, this will hurt her too. But anyways, I feel like this is just a hot mess. According to Idris on that podcast, he said, I was raised by the houses. I know they fear person. <laughs> It don't be, and I tell you, this fight go red. I'm talking about they're gonna fight dirty on social media. But it seems like Bonaboy's posts have been deleted. I guess people around him, his team, his family would have called him to order, telling him to take that down. And I guess that's why. But already, bloggers have already screenshotted and posted it. So everything is already online. Let me know what you think. Are you surprised? Are you shocked? For me, I am not. The two people that are involved in this are two persons that never hold their mouth, never sugarcoat their word, will always say whatever they want to say. They say how they feel and this is it. Both of them are big talkers. Uh, Bonner Boy, right from, like, should I call it behind the scene when no one knew him before he hit big? He's always been a big talker, so I'm not shocked. Idris, same thing. So let's see.